You acting like you had a rough day. You don't have a job. We are heading to Target. Jaren has to get his teacher a Christmas gift. Like, leave him alone. Uh, not walking around with no white people shirt. Jaren was in the car asleep. So, he's very much still tired. <laughs> What's that, Snoopy? We need to poo, I think. Childish. I like these crew necks. I love them, but I don't want any of these. And what's this? Some type of race car. I think over here is Christmas sweaters. Yeah, they're Christmas sweaters. Come on, baby, wake up, man. You gotta wake up. Don't you like Target? What's this? Oh, I think it's a Rolling. Where the gift card? The gift card's in the front, right? I almost fell. I got to tie my shoe. I uh, picked up a few things. Malik said he didn't have to get nothing, yet here we are. It's kind of empty in here today. Mm hmm. Jaren look like he's still sleeping. <laughs> sure, you okay, man? All right, Jay. It's a whole wall full of stuff. We know she likes coffee. What else does your teacher like? Hmm? Might as well just get Starbucks, Jay. Or they got Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme. What do you think she'll like? <laughs> he just tried to put the sweet frog one. You like sweet frog. Oh, you gonna get her Krispy Kreme? Mm. I don't know. She might not like that though. Does she eat donuts? You know she like coffee though. Does she? Does she like donuts? Oh, that was a happy Do birthday one though. Get one of these. Oh, ones. do they all say happy birthday? It's more gift cards here. I think it's the same thing. Oh, they got one for Jimmy John's. It's really not anything to wrap, baby. It's just a gift card, and we're going to get her a card. Go ahead. All right, y'all, so we are done at Target. About to go home now. Yes, I didn't post a video yesterday. I recorded, but I didn't post anything. So what I'm going to do is include yesterday's um, footage with today's footage. Um, so today is Thursday. I'm trying to have a short day. I don't know if I'm going to leave early yet, but... Um, we got some packing to do once we get home. Packing and um, got to wash some clothes and pack. But um, we're heading to we're heading to Florida for graduation. Later, I'm packing our stuff now. I told you guys we're going away for the weekend. Got Jaren stuff here. I just got to put it in the bag. I have to clean up. I have to you know just clean and everything, and then also wash my hair. Y'all. I was trying to see if I could post a video today. It's not going to be a video today. I'm going to just try to combine yesterday and today. Um, we had an incident that just happened here with our neighbor. Y'all, I don't, like, we, people are insane. Like, people are literally insane. We had an issue with our neighbor that lives above us. Um... And what happened was, oh my gosh, my camera is dying. <coughs> what happened was I'm in the kitchen washing dishes and I'm on the phone, but I'm talking normally, like just because I'm on the phone. Jaren is in his room, the TV's on obviously, and he's just chilling. I'm, he was making noise, but he wasn't being that loud. And our neighbor that lives above us, banged on the floor which is our ceiling and she gets to banging right and this is the third time she's done this the first time we let it go the second time you know she was like 
pacing back and forth, screaming, like crying and stuff, like shake, like literally having a panic attack. That's what it appeared to be. And then this time, you know, I just had it. It was enough is enough because it was six o'clock. What time is it now? It's like maybe mm -hmm. eight, seven. I don't know. It is six o'clock. You know, when you live in buildings, if you live in a, y'all, my camera died. But um, yeah, this is the third time she banged on the ceiling and stuff. So this time I went and um, we went upstairs. Because at this point, what's the issue? There's a noise ordinance, but it's from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. It's six o'clock in the evening. There is a reasonable expectation for noise. You live in an apartment. If you don't want to hear noise, you need to go move to a house. Anyway, so Malik knocks on the door. Y'all, this lunatic comes to her door with a knife okay with a knife and we are a family of three we have a five-year-old child um safety is a number one concern for me i am not gonna be hey y'all so we are on the road now sorry it's like really dark in the car but we are at a rest stop Oop chapstick fell south carolina we're in south carolina at a rest stop almost georgia you can tell by the trees it's on the change <laughs> <laughs> Here's the restroom. JJ back here. Oh, sleeping. He had a little temper tantrum from his game. <laughs> Punch. He's literally punching the cell phone. <coughs> That's why I don't want to wear his phone. That my new phone is from the break. That's why I was like, I don't really want to get him no phone because he literally, when he's losing the game, um, when he start losing the game or whatever, he starts punching it. Like what? Yeah, put my chapstick on. Five years old, bro. Five years old, yeah, acting like yeah. Crazy. You could tell he was the one that would take the um the remote control or the gaming whatever it is and throw it at the TV and see. <laughs> then I'm gonna have to hurt him. Like that's, that's the reason why I don't want to give him a place. What happened between me and the neighbor? I don't know where I I don't remember what I was saying before my camera died, but um she she's been banging on our ceiling now she did it three other times i mean this was her third time doing it and then she gonna lie to the cops too talk about some she only did it twice no she did it three times this was the third time right anyways two three whatever we went up there y'all we went up there there's a video of it because actually my other neighbor heard it recorded it came and knocked on our door and i just asked her to um just send it to me so y'all we went up there and like we was trying to figure out like what's the issue here like why are you banging on the door don't y'all know this lady opened the door with a knife on her hand and i'm like really you got a knife giving very much care and like y'all know how they be when they antagonize something but when we react to it you know they get to crime being the victim and stuff so anyways a uh, back and forth argument commences between us um i kind of get that upset and i like walked away because at this point it's like you know you got a knife like you know be ready to use it because at this point this is you know you're threatening you know what i mean and i'm at the point where like i'm not gonna say what i was i'm, I'm thinking right now but you know, if we could, if you want to take it there, we, we're gonna have to take it there, right? Because not, not you about to threaten me in the life of my child. Like I have a five-year-old child downstairs. Like, the other time when the incident happened with her, the leasing office told me to call the non-emergency line. Mind y'all, like we have a noise ordinance, but it's from like 10 at night to 8 a.m. in the morning. It, like I said earlier, it was, this incident happened around 6 in the afternoon, I mean in the evening. There is a reasonable expectation for some type of noise. This is community living. You live in an apartment building, you don't live in a house. If you don't want to hear noise of others, then take your ass to a house. You cannot be living you cannot be living in community, like, you know, community living in an apartment building and then be telling your neighbors to shut the hell up. Basically, that's what she was doing, trying to tell us to shut the hell up at 6 o'clock in the to evening. To make it even worse, y'all live above us. You know how hard you got to be actually listening 
to actually get annoyed by noise below you well clearly there's no tv on my thing is and i think i, I said this before and i said this to the police officer as well because i did end up calling a non-emergency line and spoke with a police officer who came out nothing happened of course um he gave me a police report my main thing was just trying to get documentation because like i told him this is escalating at this point and i don't feel safe um and i'm at this point i'm looking for other or um alternative housing i'm going to call the office tomorrow once they're they're open because i need to know the steps in rectifying the situation because i'm not going to be living somewhere in a situation like we have to be walking on eggshells and that there, there is such a potential for violence from this batshit lunatic that is living amongst us like i'm sorry i watch too many crime podcasts i watch too many of these court tv shows to know when people show you who they are this is my first encounter with her she came to her door with a knife y'all this is our first encounter with the neighbor claiming you fear you fear for your life you in fear for your life but you have a weapon we come up no weapon we trying to address the situation because my thing is if you thought we were being so loud why didn't you knock on the door and address it instead you took whatever you took to bang on your floors which is our ceiling to me that's you being aggressive and you starting you trying to start shit no, because you know, and my thing is if you truly like i'm sorry if i've truly fear for my life I'm not opening my Me door. Me neither. I'm not coming to the door. Inviting a fight. Like, literally, you open the door aggressively. She was, she was very much hand. aggressive with a knife. I mean, obviously, with a knife in her hand. And nobody's at opening the door. Y'all, it's so dark. I'm sorry. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. But I told the cops, like, the, the these buildings are old. Like, these are hardwood floors, noise travels. And also, these walls are paper thin. We cannot control the layout of this building. That's on the off. That's on the building, the office. So if you have an issue, bring it with they ass. Like I'm at the point right now, I'm done. Um, they'll get my money for next month because I've been living here. But I'm out after that. Like I have to think of alternative housing because I'm not dealing. I'm I'm tell, I'm not laying my head down at night and then you know having my having to tell my child sh 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 sh. like you know living on you know walking on eggshells because she's insane like it's really insane um like she was like crying like after we left after the incident and stuff like i told y'all i went and contacted the non-emergency line but we heard her above us like going on a crying fit <laughs> like hyperventilating. it was giving very much karen and i was just like you know what I could see this getting worse than it is now and I'm just like let me get ahead of this like I need to get ahead of this y'all like I'm not I'm not doing it because things like this it's it's not gonna get better it's gonna get worse she what I could see her trying to do is to do stuff to incite violence to get a reaction out of us to then make herself play you know play more upon the victim on this in this situation she came out being the aggressor but i could see her purposely trying to um push violent you know pu not push but purposely trying to start stuff to get a reaction now working with a full deck up here so i need to like kind of remove myself from the situation because i have a child that i need to consider and his safety and I'm not playing about it. The cops can't do anything. They, she pay rent. We pay rent. And it's not. And then the leasing office is not gonna do anything and, either. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't just you know cower and allow stuff like that to continue because it's just gonna get worse. That, but that's what I'm saying, and that's why I'm not sticking around to find out if it's gonna get worse. No, no, no. I'm, Things I'm, are. I'm saying like you, you can, you can be the bigger person and not say anything but that's not the way you're supposed to respond and then to we either. can't live in a situation like that where we're constantly having to tell the five-year-old shh, shh, shh. No, you know no, like no, nobody's no. doing that like and it's a respect thing it's like i'm not gonna allow you she's to very me. disrespectful and then talking about some it's just too loud it's six o'clock what are we supposed to be like what uh, lack of respect she didn't she's very dis no that. she's very disrespectful and i'm just like whatever energy you gonna dish bitch that's what you getting that's what you're gonna get back because I don't know who the hell you think you playing with. I work too damn hard. I'm sorry. I'm not living up in there, you know, not paying rent and, you know, I'm getting Section 8. No, like, I pay every lick of money to be there. 
So I'll be damned if I'ma let some bitch, um, excuse me, if I'ma let some female that just moved in there think she gonna come up in here and start mess and then I'ma be sitting back being quiet. Every time you bang on that ceiling, I'ma bang right back and we just gonna be two dummies just banging back and forth until I'm ready to go because at this point, y'all, like it's, it's how getting emotionally, insane. like how, how, what's the word I'm looking for? How? She has no emotional intelligence. It, yeah, she's not emotionally intelligent, but you know, we all have a certain threshold of, that we can take of people annoying us and stuff. Like how low does her emotional in, intolerance gotta be? But my thing is, if that's the case, you need to <laughs> not be living in an apartment. <laughs> you, you are somebody that needs to be somewhere alone by yourself, not dealing with people. Right. Why would you get an uh, apartment and then an it's normal noise. It's Jen in her own watching TV. You're washing the dishes. I'm not making noise at all. I'm in the bitch trying to sleep. It was the TV it's on. It's basic human noise. Like, Jaren's TV was on. Our TV on. No Jaren music was in. Thing. It wasn't no music. We're not partying or nothing. We was even talking. Like, it, it, <laughs> it was insane, y'all. But anyways, so. What's this? Well, I think it's like a truck stop. But yeah, we just passed the border. Um, not too far from Jacksonville. Right okay. Jacksonville. So not far from Jacksonville. We're going to Orlando. Um. Y'all, and I tell you, I have not slept all night long. <laughs> My nerves bad. <laughs> I'm just, I'm tired, but I'm just glad we are almost there. Thank God. Thank God and thank week. Oh. I don't have that much time. I was gonna try to see if I could at least take a, I haven't slept all night. I was gonna try to see if I could at least take a nap. Um, I believe I need to check the location. Actually, let me do it now how far it is from um, the hotel. So let me do that now.